Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the non-spoiler review for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Sorry I haven't been uploading lately for about the past two weeks. I have been terribly sick. You might be able to still hear it a little bit. I had a terrible sore throat. Lots of stuff going on. No COVID though, thank the Lord. So we are here today for the return video to talk about Doctor Strange. You're damn right I'm not going to miss talking about Doctor Strange. And like I said, no spoilers will be had in this video. We're just going to talk about some of like the characters, uh, non-spoiler ones of course, uh, the script, stuff like that. We're not going to dive into any hypothetical cameos or like what happens really in the movie. We're going to a broad overstroke of the film. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because I'm back now. We're going to have consistent content here on the channel. Lots of Marvel stuff coming in the next seven days. So make sure you subscribe for all that if you're a big Marvel fan. Now, let's jump into the multiverse of madness. This film, of course, is directed by Sam Raimi, the man who did the original Spider-Man trilogy. Two great films, one okay at best film, but that's not really his fault. And, of course, he's directed several other great films throughout history, like Darkman, the Evil Dead franchise, most of them. He's like the he's almost like the Kevin Feige of the Evil Dead franchise. He's done lots of other great stuff as well. He's a great director, one of the best, and, of course, he has his own flair and style, which is like campy horror type 80s horror stuff and a lot of people were like is marvel gonna let him do his own thing because as much as i love marvel a lot of their films do feel very much the same and i'm proud to say that they do let him go full crazy this is a horror film like i probably wouldn't recommend taking little kids to see this movie there's some dark stuff in this some of it's campy and like kids could get behind and then some of it's like straight up gruesome and it's just for me, as a huge horror fan, I love to see it. And I love how Marvel's starting to diversify their films uh, style-wise. Like Eternals, it got a lot of hate because it didn't feel like a Marvel movie, but it felt different, which I loved. Because as much as I loved the MCU, I was like, okay, how many times are we going to get this same type of film? And like Shang chi was a little different, but then Eternals was like a completely different, almost indie-style film, which I loved. And this one is the same. Like, if you're looking for just the typical Marvel movie, you're probably not going to like this movie very much because it's very much a horror film with superhero elements going on inside of it with the titular hero, of course, played by Benedict Cumberpatch. And you saw in the trailer, there are other Doctor Stranges as well. And it's cool to see him do it all right after we saw Oscar Isaac play different characters as well. Joining him is Elizabeth Olsen returning to her role as the Scarlet Witch, picking up from WandaVision, which they do tie in in a couple really cool ways. If you've seen the trailer, you know her children are in the movie, and it's, it's cool what they do with that story line as well because WandaVision is still one of the best MCU Disney Plus shows so it's cool how much they tied it in and I, I kind of think if you haven't seen WandaVision you will be a little lost in this movie so make sure you do see WandaVision before that of course Benedict Wong comes back as Wong the Sorcerer Supreme everyone's favorite superhero uh, the best Avenger there is Wong Wong's fantastic at some points he does steal the movie he's so damn good in this film he's He's fan-freaking-tastic. Of course, you know from the trailer, Chiwetel Ejiofor comes back as a different version of Baron Mordo, which is great. I love seeing Mordo. I can't wait to see where they go with that storyline in future iterations because, you know, now the multiverse is game. You know, we could pull in different versions of any character we really want. Hell, we could see Robert Downey Jr. come back as a different version of Iron Man somewhere in the future if they really want to. Now, I'm going to butcher this name. I'm going to butcher the actress's name for sure, uh, but America Chavez from The Young Avengers is introduced in this film. She's kind of like the main plot point almost because her powers let her travel through the multiverse, so there's some uh, villains trying to get to her because of that. And of course, Doctor Strange is trying to help her. Now, the actress's name is... Oh boy, I'm going to I'm gonna butcher it. I'm just going to call her Miss Gomez because I don't want to offend anyone and completely butcher her name, but she's fantastic. I thought she did really well, and if you're a fan of the channel, you know I don't always love younger actors. Sometimes they're not very good, and she actually nailed it. She looked like she belonged in this movie, and she crushed it. And of course, Rachel McAdams does come back as Christine as well. This whole movie is a damn... And I don't know if I want to say fun time. For me, it was fun, but it might not be for you if you don't love Sam Raimi's style, if you don't love horror films. For me, I loved this. The surprises were great. I won't spoil them. They'll, we'll talk about those in the spoilers review. The story itself was really good. The one negative thing I will say is the pacing did feel a little off. 
Like, at certain points, like, it was moving, 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 and then all of a sudden it would come to a screeching halt and become almost like a slow, methodical film, and then all of a sudden it would be launched forward in your seat again as it becomes fast-paced once again. It kind of felt like a stop-go, stop-go, stop-go kind of pace, but other than that, everything about Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness was exactly my shit. I love superheroes and I love horror. Those are my two favorite genres, and they meshed them together so perfectly in this, thanks to Sam Raimi. And, I mean, this isn't a spoiler. We're probably going to get a Doctor Strange 3 down the line uh, somewhere. Hopefully not in another five years because that's how long it's been since the first one. And I hope Sam Raimi gets to direct that one as well because I think he's the perfect director for Doctor Strange. Will he get a Spider-Man 4? I hope so. Why not? Why not? I let the multiverse is open. Why not give Sam Raimi whatever toys he wants to play with? Because for me, he did a great job with Doctor Strange. It's not for everyone, similar to Eternals. It's not for everyone. If you don't like horror, if you don't like Sam Raimi's style, you might not dig this movie. But for me, it absolutely worked. I'm going to give Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness an 8.5 out of 10. I really dig this movie. Thought it was a damn fun time at the theater. If you're going in just expecting every Marvel character from every past non-MCU movie to show up. You will be disappointed, I will say that, but there are some fun surprise extended cameos we will talk about in my spoilers review, so make sure you subscribe to the channel for that, and let me know your non-spoiler thoughts for this film down in the comments below. Make sure you like the video, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys right here next time. <laughs>